Hello, I'm Stephen Evans from Corvais Galvanizers. Galvanizers often get asked the question, why do we need holes in our steel? And the answer is normally venting and draining. Now today I'm going to try and explain to you why venting and draining is so important from a quality perspective. But first of all, let's start with a typical piece of steel. This is the channel, or a model of a channel, and this channel has got gussets in, and that's normally where the problem arises. We need some holes in the gussets to let the air out and the zinc out. When the steel goes into the zinc, first thing that needs to happen is the air needs to flow out the top and when the steel comes out of the zinc again in the upward direction the zinc has to flow out the bottom and I'm going to try and demonstrate using this to symbolize this piece of plastic because we can't see through the steel or this model I'm going to use plastic so we can see where the air gets trapped while we are waiting for the coffee to brew I'll explain to you why we're in the kitchen uh, actually more than just the coffee when we dip the piece of steel very often we can dip it face up but if it's in a big big frame uh, we often have no choice but having to dip it this way and I'll now explain in this zinc of mine why it's important that we have the vent holes. Remember this piece of plastic is now resembling the pocket in the channel that we've explained previously. We're going to simulate this going into the zinc, going in slowly and we have holes in there. You can see the air is coming out and the air is coming out up to a point and now there's an air bubble in the top of the top corner. Now where the water doesn't wet the plastic simulates exactly where the zinc doesn't get into touch with the steel. And if the zinc is not in touch with the steel, the galvanizing process cannot take place. And we have a defect called a miss. I can play around with my hand and manipulate the air bubble to get some of it out. And if I'm a bit lucky, I can get all of it out. Remembering the guy the kettle can't see through the zinc, he can't see through the steel. Therefore, he can't do this manipulation and we cannot afford for him to rely on luck only. We've got to design it properly. Another place to put the holes instead of putting it in the flange would be to put it in the web. And I'm going to demonstrate now the holes there do help. Some of the air does come out as we go in. And we still have a problem though. There's still a huge air bubble there. It's always better to put the holes closest to the surface as possible to allow for as much air to come out as reasonably possible. We understand that engineers don't like people drilling holes into their wells or close to their wells because it has an effect of, on the integrity of their product. However, from a galvanizing perspective, it's important that we get the air out so we can guarantee a good quality product. And I'm going to show now that we have a much smaller bubble in the top which will lead to a much smaller miss in a galvanized item with the holes out the top and look there just about no miss the code does allow us to have a paint if there's a miss but only on small little areas like this so put the hole as close to the top as possible and the more holes the better i've now simulated these holes in the plastic dipping them in the in the water and what we've seen even with these holes very very nicely positioned we still have a risk of a small miss if we do however do proper cutouts, like we have on the other side, there's no risk of any, any air entrapment and we are always guaranteed perfect quality.